I'm Paul Kitlider. I'm going to show you my simple beef feeding tank. Not much to it. I simply got a five gallon per minute pump. It's a uh, one of those pumps that come on a little portable tank sprayer that goes on ATV uh, or whatever. A real simple deal that I bought. I have a two inch boot goes on this tank. These tanks have funny threads and I couldn't really find the right fit and especially at Lowe's and stuff. So I bought a two inch boot. I reduced it down till I ended up with three quarters, reduced it down till I ended up to a water hose because I had plenty of water hoses laying around. So I ran a water hose to the pump, straight to this. Then I made this little rig right here. It's something that I made up and it works pretty good. Uh, give you a little demonstration. The good thing about these pumps they cut off when not in use. So generally I'll load the tank up, the battery up on a little lawnmower trailer, uh, take it to the bee yard, park near my hives, and I'll drag all my hose out. And uh, I'll work a hive and keep my little feeder tank and hose with me as I go. Uh, really easy. Um, I figure up my sugar. The hardest thing is, is, is to pour the sugar in the little hole at the top. The 25 pound bags work the best. Um, but you just got to do your math. If I'm gonna mix, say, 100 gallon of, of sugar water, I will use about 20 bags of sugar. I usually figure a bag, 25 pounds, per five gallons, uh, thereabouts. It doesn't have to be perfect, it's just bees. But that's how I do my math. If I know I want 100 gallons, I'll put uh, 20 bags in, then I'll fill it up to 100 with water and mix it. And this is what I, come up with the mix it a simple paint stirring thing from Lowe's or Home Depot and then I welded a longer rod on it so I can put my drill on the top and I'll just shove it down in there and start with the drill. Nice and simple. There's my little pump, little high flow pump. Found that thing at Agri Supply for 50 bucks on sale. And there's uh, the boot two inch boot then I reduced it reduced it reduced it all the way down all right y'all just seen my 250 gallon tank um, the mobile setup I'll call it this here is more of a stationary deal um, it's a little bit more complicated than mine this here has got a research pump it's just an old pump that we picked up somewhere uh, probably for free or a few bucks um, it's hard plumbed in so to fill it you simply turn the water on and it fills the tank. And the reset pump, we've got it hardwired. Well, it's actually plugged in, but we got a switch here that controls the plug in. So we can turn the pump on. It's got a reset built in, but that will not stir it with sugar in it. We have to use the trusty drill and paint stirrer to mix the sugar up initially. And all you do to fill up a jar, take the handy dandy gas pump, gas nozzle. That's all there is to it.